happy Wednesday. How are you doing today? Welcome to Chocolate One. My name is Beth. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Coming on a little bit early today because we have puppy school tonight. <clears throat> and we have to go a little bit early to that because Harley needs his rabies vaccination tonight. So if you're watching, please like and follow my Facebook page. Drop a comment down below so I can know that you're here or smash those heart buttons. It's a really great project for us tonight. I'm gonna to sprinkle this to my VIP group really quickly. And I invite you to sprinkle it as well to other groups that you may know or people you may know that enjoy um, DIY crafting, enjoy crafting, enjoy pretty things, need to just relax a little bit. That'd be awesome, I appreciate it. Hit that S-H-A-R-E button. So yesterday we did this, pull it down so you can see it. Isn't that cute? Rise and shine, surround yourself. What is it? Stay close to people who feel like sunshine. And hi Cheryl, thanks for watching tonight. I appreciate that. Um, it came out so cute. This is on our um, Aiden board. I think, I think these are the Aiden boards. I never remember the name of the boards. It's magnetic. Unfortunately, this board is out of stock right now. It should be coming back in pretty soon. And we put magnets on the back of it so our little arches are magnetic there. So we'll be able to change that out very easily. Tonight, and this is part of a promotion, it's a um, kickstart kit, not well, kickstart transfer that you can earn free. If you spend $60 in my shop, you earn this transfer free. That's this one. If you spend $75, you earn this one and this one. And this is the one we're going to do it uh, today. Every day is a fresh start. I love it. I love it. So many different things you can do with these and use our inks as well. We'll be doing some of that. If you spend $90, you get both of these transfers and you get the add-on kit. So tonight we're going to be using the little felt flowers. Yesterday add-on was the, um, the rainbow arches, um, the wooden rainbow arches. Of course, you don't need those because you can just paste right on your surface the transfer to arches. So it just gives it a little extra dimension. So that's what we're doing tonight. That's what we're going to do tonight. Let me see if I can hang this back up here. Uh, the first thing, I'm, I'm using our 9x9 double-sided box frame. So one side is we've got the white surface, one side has the brown surface. And I'm going to use the brown surface tonight. So the first thing I want to do is put some wax on that. Let me grab my stuff. Tell me how your day is going. I'm excited. I've worked hard on, on my lessons for um, homework from puppy school last week. So I'm hoping that um, we have a successful lesson tonight as well. So I'm just going to add some wax to this surface here. Um, Chocotour was I think it's coming back in stock or it is in stock now. I think it's coming in stock this week. Surface wax. So, um, so for now I'm using Min Wax because I like to wax our surfaces, the wood surfaces. You wouldn't you wouldn't wax these boards here, the boutique boards. They don't need wax. You just fuzz really good with those. But because with adding wax, it gives me a little extra protection. If I wanted to um, remove this, um, I've had pretty good luck doing it with most of my wood surfaces. A little bit more. So these are starting to feel, you know, kind of getting the, the spring vibe going, anxious for it, even though we have snow coming tonight. <laughs> well, when you live in the north like I do, um, you got to expect that. Spring is usually, doesn't usually hit us until May here. We're usually about a month behind everybody. So I also like to wax around the edge of the project that I'm working on if it's wood. 
just because I like the finish that this wax gives. All right, there's that. Then what I like to do is add a little bit of my quick dry tool, put a little bit of heat on there to help that wax absorb in. Let's see here. Busy, but would rather be busy, but I would rather be busy. Yeah, at least you can control it though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I like staying pretty busy myself. Okay, then I like to buff it. Gives it a nice, smooth finish. Gives it a little bit of shine. I like that, too. And then we'll be able to put something on the back of this also. Because it's double-sided. These are nice because they can sit on your shelf or your windowsill or whatever, your mantle. Um, or you can hang them because and they're really easy to hang. And I just use a push pin to hang them with. Okay. So let's get out our new cutie patootie here. And this is called Create a Kickstart Fresh Start. I just love it. Every day is a fresh start. I like waking up feeling that. Thinking, you know, what can I do with this, this gift that I've been given today? One of the things I look forward to doing is coming in here and um, crafting every single day. I love coming in here and doing that. I never get tired of it. And right back on the back of my carrier sheet, or some people call it a backer sheet. And then because I like to keep all my pieces together on one sheet, I'm going to this has little add-on pieces, little embellishments that you can add around, but we're not going to use those today. We're going to use the little cute little white felt flowers that came with the kit. Okay. Then I'm going to grab a fuzzing cloth. And it's brand new, so I'm going to fuzz it. A lot of times after you've used it a couple of times, you won't need to fuzz it anymore unless you're putting it on glass or ceramics or metal, sometimes on our boutique surfaces. Watch and see how fast this goes, you guys. It's just um, the most incredible craft. Okay, this only needs a couple. So, let's line it up. I wonder, is Facebook doing the, um, you know, the start and stop with the lives? Is the live interrupted every couple of minutes today? I haven't noticed today if it was or not. I even Googled it to see if there was something that they were working on or, I don't know. Okay, so now just push it down so we don't have any air in there. We don't want any bleeds. There we go. I feel like I still have a little bit of air down here. I'm going to pull this up. From the bottom and roll it back down there we go just readjust it if it feels like it's got a, a little wrinkle or something in there that looks pretty good they have 
Where's that little, here it is. I'm looking at their little kit here. It doesn't really show, here it is. I think they used pistachio for the leaves, so the extra little leaves. So we'll do that. The little, we won't do the big flower, we'll do the little flowers and the little leaves here. And then we'll, we'll um, adhere the, the little white flowers onto it. You know what's hard about puppy school is they tell us don't feed him after noon. So he's really hungry, hungry and eager to learn because he gets lots of treats at puppy school. All right, we're gonna take our bright white and today we're gonna to use guava. I don't even, I, don't, I barely use this. Isn't that a beautiful color? My mom would have loved this color. And then we're using pistachio, a little bit of pistachio. Another pretty bright color. I'm telling you, spring, I can't wait. I like to stir my paste up a little bit before I get started. Just to feel the consistency, you want a sour cream or yogurt. Most of the creamy dreamies stay really good. That's the new paste that came out um, about a year ago now. Some of the um, older paste are still really good, but you do have to um, usually add a little bit of water if they've been sitting because they dry out. That is so pretty. It's just kind of a pinky orange color is what that is. And then we're down to the very bottom of our bright white. And that'll be just perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna take a small squeegee. This is our mini squeegee. It's beveled, you can see. I think you can see that. And it's silicone, so it bends. So I'm gonna load up my paste on here. We're gonna do the letters in bright white. And I'm just gonna pull it over the letters. Quick as can be. Oh yeah, you see, he's not happy that we're not feeding him. He gets quite a bit of chow too. Surprised at how much puppies get. We've had Harley for, I think about six weeks now, and it's starting to feel like it's coming together which is really good because, boy, we had some really touch-and-go days there for a while. Okay, and this is chalk paste. So you do have to pay attention to um, how much, how long you leave it down before pulling it up because it does dry. But I think we'll have enough time. I'm going to use my little multi-purpose tool here. We'll get our little flowers here. This is called guava. There's little dots in guava too, I think. Oops, there's another little dot here. A little dot. Let's get this little flower up here too. I tend to keep too close to the camera sometimes. And I'll wipe this off and we'll get the little leaves. The little tiny ones. And our pretty pistachio. And we'll pull this up. I think that's it. Okay, let's pull this up. Looks really good. Oh my gosh, that guava is so pretty on there. I'm gonna wash this really quick here. 
I have put my stuff over here. Yep, my mom would have loved this color guava. She was a she was a um, island kind of gal. I mean, she loved she she wasn't native, but she loved um, Maui. That's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna set this, push that up there. I'll show you how I do this. I just grab a little tub of water. So these transfers are reusable, um, eight to twelve times with good care. Good care means you wash them right after you use them so that paste or if you're using ink doesn't dry in your silk screen. So I like to wash them pretty quickly afterwards. That's good. And then what I'll do is grab our fuzzing cloth and put the microfiber side down. Whoops blowing stuff off the table there. And I like to just double check. This is just a little piece of our um, board eraser. I had sent um, a little starter kit to somebody and I sent them a quarter of it because they had a mini. So I'm just using the other piece of it. I don't think I'm expecting any deliveries today. Flip it over, and all that fuzz we put on, I'm just gonna wipe it off with this. And now this is gonna dry right here. Okay. Now let's finish up real quickly. Our lid's back on. I'm so excited about this little kit, this little um, transfer, and the one I did yesterday. I think there's so many ways of using it. We'll probably get our 10 to 12 uses out of it, just doing different projects. Put your lids back on really good. It's chalk paste and it will dry out. So let's try this now. This is our quick dry tool. It doesn't get very hot. I just love this. Every day is a fresh start. You might have a day that didn't go as, as you planned. Isn't it nice to know that the next day you can, you can just start over? Make it different. I have to call my daughter. Oh, my daughter. She, um, I don't know, I think three of the people in her office building came down with COVID. And she, she called me today and she says, Mom, I said, no, don't tell me. She said, I'm not really feeling that great. I'm just going to come in. She usually stops in here in the house before she goes to her cabin. I don't know. I hope, she's, I hope she doesn't have it. Okay, so the little flowers, they're, a, they're adorable. They're little white felt flowers. Look at the little back, little button on the back, the green button. Isn't that cute? They have a little stamen in there. That's cute. So just fluff them up a little bit. And those are stinking cute. You can buy, you don't have to spend all the 60, 75, or 90. These, these transfers are available for purchase just um, as they are, as is the little kit. And they have these cute little green leaves. Okay. So I'm going to look at the transfer here and see how they have it laid out. So they have this here, and then we have these little little sticky things, the little they're like glue, they're like glue dots, but they're they're squares. <clears throat> and I think 
the little paper thing is a little challenging to get off is what I've been seeing. Come on. Just need one little corner. There we go. And then it'll feel, oh, that didn't work. See if I can get this side to go. Boy, I don't really have nails for it. I don't think that's that's not working for me. I don't know. I didn't. I just tore the first layer of paper off of it. I don't have patience for that. Let me get these blue dots out. <laughs> Let's see here if I can do this. good. Let's try it again. Let me see. Did I leave part of the sticky on the tape on the... What's that? Does anybody have any tips on how to do this? Let me see if I can use this to help me. Well, I think if you have problems with your fingers, this would be a little difficult. You could just glue them on, though. I know I have some some people that do chalk that have, like, um, RA, so this would be a little challenging, I think. Oh, there it goes. It's clear. Put a little, it's on a little leaf. Interesting. Put another little leaf down. Let's see if we can get that in there. It's going to be cute when we get it. So you know it's a clear glue piece on the bottom. The whole, the whole paper part pulls off and you can see it's clear. Okay, just in case you were wondering. Alright, let's put our other little flower down there. getting good at it by now, huh? This one's going to lift the paper t again. Wow, this is the most, this, this is taking the longest part of the whole project is trying to get these silly little flowers open on there, or the little glue things on there. Ah. Uh,
Now I've got a system. Make it so the glue sticks down to the thing and then pull it up. Uh-huh. That is so cute. So, okay, you guys, so put your little paper, your little glue thing down, and then peel it up, and then scrape the glue off of the, off of the paper onto the flower or the leaf. Hold it with your thumbnail, and then pull your paper up. That's the tip for the day. <laughs> or get your glue gun out. Oh, it's so cute, though. I don't have a lot of faith in that one staying. Let's, where did that one piece go? I don't know. Look at this papers. That one that didn't work, and I put the glue dot on it, but I don't know where it went. Anyways. That's it, isn't it, darling? It is so cute. Oh, let me say hi to everybody. Um, Cheryl, I said hi to. Hi, Jane. It's not as bad today. Oh, good, I'm glad to hear that, Jane. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, thank you for joining today. Hey, Barb, nice to have you on here again. I adore you. Uh, the colors are pretty. It's very pretty. Hi, Lori Henderson. Hi, Cheryl Hanford. Tape on fingers. Ah, Cheryl, I should have looked at my, uh, I should have looked at the uh, comments before I struggled with it so much. And Judy, hi, thank you. Yes, it's very cute. Such a cute project. All right, well, I've got stuff in the IP. I'm making barbecued ribs tonight. They're cooking, so I'll have those ready to just put under the broiler when I get home. Wish me luck at puppy school tonight. Uh, he's getting so big. I look forward to it because we get to weigh him. He's gaining about two or three pounds a week, so pretty, um, growing pretty fast like puppies do. All right, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by today and hanging out with me for a few minutes. Sorry it took me so long to get the stickers off. <laughs> I hope you have better luck than I did. Um, if you have questions about this project, you want more information on how you can get this, um, excuse me, just shoot me a message and I'll get that to you. Until we chalk and talk again. Thanks, Jane. <laughs> Until we chalk and talk again, take good care.